Announced uh, almost a month ago, coming from the same developers of Amnesia games. Number one, we have a brand new Unreal Engine 5 project here going by the name Still Wakes the Deep. What the creators are calling a rather return to the first person narrative or genre, revolving around a offshore oil rig worker just fighting for his life through a vicious storm and the freezing North Sea waters, whilst all lines of communications have been lost. It's a trailer. Games and Microsoft exclusive and releasing in 2024. Imagine a world in which all are free. Free of pain, free of hunger, and above all, free of death. Why did you make me come back here? Unholy is available on Steam through a demo for a couple of days now, and it just went on and received a release date of July 20 for PCs, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X only. Unholy, and I'm not even alone saying this, maybe the best game we're looking today in terms of just graphics on the horizon. But only that, the gameplay seems to be just okay on the demo, so we'll have to just wait a little longer to know if it's good. Here's a trailer if you missed it. Games using Unreal Engine 4. The spring of eternity invites you to a place where your emotions will shape a new, better reality. This looks like punishment, not freedom. Come to the spring of eternity. Come and open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. While the idea for this game has been stuck in our heads for years, and after several small advances with prototypes, we finally started to commit ourselves to a full-time production in 2019. Nacon just announced a delayed release data of September 2023 for Ad Infinitum, a game that was supposed to be released two months ago. However, it'll now be coming to PCs, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. A little later, perhaps, they didn't even say it, for past generation consoles as well. Ad Infinitum, in case you're new, here's a first-person survival horror, or what its developers retitled as a surreal nightmare, where players take on the role of a German soldier in the First World War, who has who has to decide what's real or not in his own mind. Do some scenes of World War One. You have to crawl through the muddy trenches of the east of France and explore various other places themed around the Great War, which you can explore in the final game. In our game, you will have to solve intricate enigmas that challenge your troubled mind. A mind so distorted that it is completely losing its grip on reality. Now it's up to you, the player, to figure out what is real and what might be manifestations. Coming from the same people who made Phobia, fine survival horror game with lots of rewards that came out a while ago from June last year. However, we got the company's next survival horror game which is being developed using Unreal Engine 5 and rather atmospheric than a survival puzzle horror game here going by the name Project Ayla. Here's the first official gameplay that was aired a few days ago and that the game's releasing for pieces of the next generation of consoles sometime later, possibly this year.
Number five, I mentioned this one a few days ago, coming from the same Japanese creators of the horror game, Cenaris Somnia. We've got a new first person horror adventure game set in 1980s Japan, going by Hollow Cocoon. In this game, you play as a college student returning to his mother's hometown after receiving the news that his grandmother was in really critical condition. And guess what? It then all goes sideways, as it's the case with a horror game. Here's a trailer, game is coming to pieces only around holidays this year. Hey. Sitting on Steam through its early access for over three months now, taking you down about 10 bucks. Number six, we have Demonologist, uh, one of the most well received multiplayer survival ghost hunting games from an indie developer, which is on its nose taking inspiration from Phasmophobia. So, basically, if you did like Phasmophobia or the idea of it, or actually hated it because it was a doll in a way, this game is actually scary or rather terrifying in ghosts and whatnot. Take a look. A couple of weeks ago, the famous publishers Deadlick Entertainment reveal a first-person psycho-thriller project called Reveal. Watching the trailer here, technically the one, the only one they came up with so far, you'll see it's a puzzle game with a lot of focus on that department, exploration and also story, which then revolves around the mysteries of a rather fictional house the protagonist over here seems to be imagining. Yeah, game's coming to PC sometime later this year. Oh, hello. Shattering cold in your bones That reminds me of home We all will fade away So I not enjoy this And with the sound of the shattering bones Start this game Moving on, we have Ludo, a first-person psychological narrative-based horror game about this man who's kind of trapped in his own house, who's searching for a way out to, you know, escape. Uh, you all remember Silent Hill 4? It's kind of like that in story, a little bit inspired by that. It's got this theme to it. Not gameplay, however, the game's in first person and what you're we'd be doing mostly is solving puzzles as opposed to dealing with monsters, per se. Check it out, game is coming to PlayStation 4, 5 and PCs only in the final quarter of Sitting on Steam through a demo since almost a month ago, next up we have another single player but stealth survival horror game that tries to blend roguelite with horror. You could say it's a little like inspired by the game Inscription, where it's a deck building card game but has hints of horror and eerie atmosphere. This game, however, is a little bit more. It's a first person adventure with a story and kind of works like Dead by Daylight. It's got deck building and card game elements as well.
sitting on steam with a demo for over two years almost three years now we've got experience war trauma i'm not even joking you guys literally the best atmospheric horror game i've ever played in my entire life i mean it features such a eerie horror and traumatic experience you will not see in another game period i mean maybe i haven't played that many horror games but this is definitely different anyway the game's sitting on steam through a demo only and said to be coming out in about the next few five ten years i don't even know it is not human at least it wasn't meant to be <laughs> Fucking maze. How am I here again? I'll never get there alone. You will. Just keep the radio on. I'll tell you what to do. Coming up behind that from more than two years ago, in case you missed it, we have Winter Survival, which is sitting on Steam through a demo. I played this one myself, uh, which is no longer available, by the way, and its early access phase, however, set to kick off by the DDR. Winter Survival is a single player sandbox exploration, winter survival sim, like you could see an adaptation of the movie Into the Wild with a dash of the thing, because it's in winter. Anyway, here's the trailer. Understand it someday. Or at least find as many answers as possible. From last year's PC gaming show, in case you missed it, we've got ever since one of the biggest projects due in 2023, a science fiction thriller set in the same universe of World of Reigns, a game here called The Invincible. Invincible is a single player experience, offering a somewhat familiar experience to alien isolation, except it's set on Mars and being built with the use of Unreal Engine 5. Games coming to PCs in the next generation of consoles only in about a few months from here. There was life here before. Everything that happened here overwhelms me. Not every mission ends in success, Doctor. We have to save what we can. Save... you. What is there to understand? We have to destroy it. Even if it means destroying everything. But first, it's time for dinner. Number 13, we have Outbreak Island. It's from the same publishers of Breathage and Void Train. This one, however, from almost earlier this year, is a survival first-person detective-inspired kind of game where you're supposed to investigate this island and stay alive at any cost using only a camera. Stories about some sort of experiment due to which people's been disappearing and coming back mutated in a weird way. It's a survival sim, almost like the game Forest, with just a little bit more action to boot. I mean, it's a bit more action heavy. Nothing invigorates you better than a jog in the fresh air. Living my best life. On my way, I stop for groceries. A hearty and balanced breakfast is the foundation of a productive day. Usually, the selection is not too diverse, but sometimes you come across real delicacies. By the way, I cook breakfast for myself. I have to improvise, but it always turns out finger licking good. Afterwards, I drive to work. You have no idea how wonderful life is without traffic jams. There I do my routine stuff.
From almost a year ago, although been in development for over two years now, we have a number 14 Instinction, a somehow Tomb Raider, uh, you could say inspired dinosaur survival sim, first person shooter that's being built with the use of Unreal Engine 5 too, and also Sydney Open World. Here's a trailer in case you missed it, the game is coming to PCs, both generation of consoles, either by the end of 2024 or early 2025. And last but not least, the second work of its developers, we have a mystery horror investigation, again, adventure called Kona. First of which was released over five years ago, the first entry, and the sequel over here, we believe, was revealed October last year. Here's a trailer. Game is as of this moment, coming to PCs and both generation of consoles as well. Later this year, going back to the 70s, where a bizarre mist has disconnected this village from the rest of the world. 